Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this eye look and review on this little beautiful goodie of an NYX visit to California. So in this collection you have all kinds of cities located in the state of California and the colors pretty much represent each part of those cities for whichever reason. So when you open them up that is going to be a nice surprise. I hope you enjoyed this eye tutorial and review so stay tuned so we're gonna get ready with these little NYX and we're gonna use Santa Monica Abbott Kinney and Brentwood let's see what I come up with stay tuned all right we're gonna start in Santa Monica California this is a nice nude color and we are just going to apply this all over the base because you know I like to blend off of a base and as you can tell I have already prepped, primed, moisturized, foundation, pout, no I didn't powder, um, lipsticked, not that that's a real word, but I've already gotten started. All right, Santa Monica is our base. So we are next going to head over to Abbott Kenny, California. What color could that be? Well, it's a nice little grayish green. So I'm going to just use the same soft dome brush for Makeup Geek that I used for the base. And I'm going to just apply this lightly in the transition. Now that I have Abbott Kinney in the transition, now we're going to go in with Brentwood and dun dun dun! Boom! Brentwood is really green. So, my little friends out there, I'm going to still stay, I think, with the same soft dome brush since this is a dark color and um, I am going to apply that on the lower lid, on the lid, and just slowly build my way up. For as dark as it is in the palette, you'll notice that it's not going on super dark, so um, that actually in some ways is good because I can slowly build up that color instead of um, having too much of a pigmented color and then ha struggling with it. So this is actually a good thing that these colors are a little less pigmented and that way you can just build it up. However, as you can tell, there is also fallout because I've now looked like, even though I tapped, I now look like I've been socked in the face. I haven't been socked in the face, but we're going to keep building. And that is going to drive me crazy. So we are just going to brush off some of this. And then, of course, we will clean it up as we um, get finished. Because I'm not going to go out with the I socked you in the face look. And then we're just going to keep doing windshield wiper motions and get that into our transition color. And apply less pressure as we go out. And I think once we get that cleaned up, it's good. I promise it's going to look better. You just can't stop. Um, this is when there are times in the makeup world that, and I'm guilty of this too, that when I would see something like this, I go, oh, I got to stop. I got to go wash it off. No, we're going to keep going. We're not going to get afraid. That one's for you, Cass. So I'm just taking a Q-tip and cleaning up some that had gotten in my inner corner of my eye. 
I'm going to sweep off this lower lid and I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and work these two colors together. Meaning Brentwood and Abbott Kenny. Okay, so to further clean up the bottom, I'm going to use some Age Rewind and I'm going to dot that over the area. So I'm going to lighten and brighten. And as you can tell, that just softened everything there. We're going to finish lightening and brightening the face. And that's really why, to be honest with you, I don't do powder until the end is because I want to make sure that I have everything perfectly set the way that I had hoped before I apply powder. Because once I get powder on, it becomes a muddy mess to try to soften and fix and highlight. Okay, so now I've got the nice little green. Um, I'm going to pop on just a little bit more of my blush where I did pull that off as I was lightening and brightening. And while we're talking about lightening and brightening, I am going to use Makeup Geek's Duo Chrome Highlighter, and this one's called Electrify. And that's going to pull some nice gold. Ooh, ah, oh. So, yeah, that, look at how pretty that is. Woo! We are going to be shining at the little concert tonight. All right, so next, what are we going to do? Eyeliner. And I'm going to use my handy dandy, my tricky, my wing guide, which is in the man world or the music world, a guitar pick. So I'm going to line up the guitar pick with my lower lash line, as you can see. And that just gives me a nice good indication of where my little wing should go. So there's wing one. And then I can go in and finish filling in. Okay, so we have curled our eyelashes, and now it's time to put on our false ones to give our eyelashes a nice thick look. Okay, so while those are drying, I am going to do my lower lash line and my smoking out. So I'm going to take the Tardius two-sided pencil. I'm going to take a slightly or flat yet fluffy, I know, doesn't make sense, brush with Abbott Kenny and start that along the lower lash line. Finish highlighting and brightening, but sometimes I'm not very smart. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of Brentwood on a tinier brush. Um, I'm not really going to worry as much about fallout on that little guy because we're going to use some MAC Prep and Prime. Okay. 
And that's going to just give a little bit more of a jewel look with this green. And I'm doing it right on the lower lashes and the lower lash line. Okay, so I think we're ready for some dun 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 mascara. I'm going in with the Charlotte Tillsbury Legendary Lashes. Um, ladies, this mascara is probably one of my favorites when I'm looking at thickening eyelashes and really giving that extra dramatic look. This is the one you want to use. And as you can see, that just added an extra va-va-voom. All right, so now it's time for hair, and then I'll come back and do a review. I'm also going to powder and use a finishing spray. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're going to do a swatch test on these little guys, and that way you can see what the NYX California collection looks like. So you've seen me put on Santa Monica. That was on the, as the base. And we're just going to swatch that real quick. As you can tell, my skin is really white. So that goes in very nice. Um, next, we're going to take Pasadena. And these do feel very creamy on when you touch them. All right, we have downtown LA. And downtown LA, of course, looks like a nice smoky gray. So let's see how this little baby does. Ooh, a very smoky gray. And it'd help if I was ready to uh, wipe off my fingers for swatch test, but you just never know. Okay, so we, um, you saw me use Brentwood in this eye look, and that was the dark green. And um, although it looked dark as we were building it up, it was not as dark. However, for some reason, it's swatching better than it went on my eye. So, who knows? You also saw I used Abbott Kinney uh, as the transition color. And that's just a nice light greenish gray. And since we're talking about gray, let's head over to Silver Lake. And that is a kind of a, I want to say bluish gray. But as you can see, these kind of need to be worked in a little bit, kind of chalky. Um, they don't have, to me, as much pigment as what you would, when you first look at these, you think, wow, look at that pigment. Um... But they, they really don't have as much pigment as what you would anticipate. So this could be a good starter collection for someone who wants to play with color but is a little bit afraid. Now we're over at the Valley. So that, that one swatches good. So I think some of these might just be hit and miss. But again, I think this is a great starter kit for colors. Now we're going to go to Laurel Canyon. And that one is swatching well. Okay. So we just have a few in the collection that don't seem to be um, as pigmented. And then again, we have some that is pigmented. All right. So we're going to go to Malibu. And of course, Malibu would have to be blue. If you're from California, been to California, that just makes sense. And look at this electric blue. Now that takes you back to the 80s. So if you want to do an 80s eye, buddy, that's the one you want. All right, so West Hollywood, what color? Drum roll, please. Of course, it is flamingo pink. Gotta love this flamingo pink. All right, let's see how that swatches. Not bad, but not as bright as the pan. So again, we're getting a hit and miss here with some of these swatches. All right, we're in Beverly Hills. What color do you think that would be? Dun, dun, dun. Of course, a golden color. That's the other thing about this palette. You re they really had a lot of bright colors and not too many light or transitions, but that gold actually picks up really nice. So I think that's one of the better pigmented out of the group. 
Um, so what's the pluses? It, the pluses would be that um, it's a it's a great starter kit, or you just can't get frustrated that they're not. Some of them are not as pigmented when you put them on as others as they look in the pan. So it's going to be kind of a you really need to try this out to see what works for you. The other piece, as you saw, is their individual. And so these individuals fit nicely in this little case, but unless you remember the colors, you are going to be pulling them in and out of this case trying to remember the colors, unless maybe you write them on the outside. So I don't think that's a positive. Um, actually, what that does is um, it's going to make this palette more of a negative for me because I'm not going to reach for it. Um, usually when I'm getting ready, I, I just want to know what I'm doing and to pull this out and try to figure out, okay, now what color was Silver Lake again or what color was Beverly Hills? Um, I think some of the colors might make sense if you're from there, but if you're not from California, then picking the color by the name wouldn't make sense to you. So, um, I got mixed feelings about this little group, but again, I just don't see myself grabbing for this. However, it was fun to play with to see what colors went with the names, etc. So, if you like it, um, purchase it. I'm not going to put this on the I think you need in your um, arsenal of makeup. So, unfortunately, it didn't make it there for me. Hope you enjoyed my review and have a good one. Thank you so much for watching my channel and doing this look with the new NYX collection. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, make it a beautiful day.